kiss. Can I have a kiss, please? Give me a kiss. Give me a bloody kiss. Mm. Oh, wait. Excuse me, sir. Go on. Go on. Thank you. Got how much more I drop things when I have my nails done. See that I'm actually not on my own for once. And it by. Thank you. Girls, where's Bella? Bella's oh, here. She's here. Yeah. Having a snack. getting a new plant pot for Bob and if anyone's like me I'll be here for about 10 minutes deciding which one's the right one to get this one I think Ooh. oh no just chipped it we'll go with this one no we won't <laughs> He's an old boy, our Bob. 20 nearly. <laughs> nice. Mm. You were craving that, weren't you, from when yeah. you first pulled up? <laughs> Before we even went in b and I got just a plain large fries, barbecue sauce. What you got, Mum? She's got the, what is it? Plant-based burger. The plant-based burger. Mm. He wants treats! Pardon? He wants some treats? Okay. Sit. Good boy. Wait. <laughs> Surprise, surprise, she's off out. Bye! You like my new lampshades in my bedroom? Do you have a look? Ta da! She's so pretty. What's so pretty? <laughs> do you want to see what I've got? Should we do a quick haul? Come on then. You twisted my arm. We have a new addition to the family. 
This, whoa. This is Rita. So we have my original Bob, bless him. Still holding on, he's like nearly 20 years old. But because where he's grown out, this really long stick, I've got on a different style pot for him today. So he'll sit more. I'll show you when I do it. It won't be today. Yeah, so we've got Bob, Rita, his wife. Mum said that was her name. She's going to sit here. And then we've got Marley. This is a coconut palm. Look, grows in a coconut shell. So yeah, we've got Bob, Marley and Rita. Rita, don't know why I have to say it like that. I've got a bowl, uh, a pot, a plant pot for Rita to go in. And we've got a black pot for Marley to go in. So they've all got a new pot, which is why we've got some... What's this called? Compost. Got some cat litter. I haven't tried this one with them before. So let's see how they go. Some kitchen rolls. So this plant pot, like I said, it's bigger than it looks on the screen. Got this. It's a lint brush. I'm hoping it's gonna be good for the curtains because their beds are behind the curtains. So like with the gap where they go in between the curtains, it's just like, a big hairball. Hopefully that'll work. Some water. <laughs> I should have a Wilkinson's delivery coming today as well, so I'll show you that if I'm still functioning at that time. Two of these. I'm gonna use these in my bathroom. Three cans of coconut milk. One, two, three. Juggle. No, don't wanna ruin don't wanna dent in my floor or something. This, which I'm going to hang on my front door. Oh, I've got a doormat as well. I'll show you it. Some butter beans, because butter beans and chickpeas are my faves. Gluten-free, like breakfast biscuits. I'm starting to feel rough now. It's all like... Some paracetamol. I can't say that without hearing in my head. Paris Hilton Mall. Paracetamol. The way I say it, ibuprofen, some of these skinny whip, uh, mint and dark chocolate. These contain milk, but I love them, so I have them every now and then. This is skinny food co's, chocolate brownie, salted caramel, cookies and cream. That was open a bit. Don't think anyone's been in it. Skinny food co, this is supposed to taste like, you know, kinder what? Kindred bueno, that rhymed. This contains milk as well, but I don't eat it often. There's palm oil free, gluten free, blah, 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 blah. And I got this from the same company. It was only a pound. It's a, like a Chinese sauce. Who would I be if I didn't include the babies? I've forgotten these. These are new. They do have like these creamy sachets, but not dreamy brand. So, got them for them. <sighs> and guess what time it is? Perfect timing for film o'clock. I always watch film back quarter past two. So I'm gonna make a decaf coffee and chill for a few hours. So I'll see you then. Bye. This is my new rug, by the way. I'm sure you're not, nobody's surprised. It has the little pitter patter of paws. <laughs> Cause I'm a geek. <laughs> I got a freebie. I put this in here because I thought if it's in there, it's not gonna get scratched and battered. And I forgot it was in there. So don't tell anyone. <laughs> Obsessed with my cup, saw this, had to have it. Did I show you these? I've got three of these for under bed storage. I don't know how to start this, so bear with me. But I just wanted to talk about something that I don't think many people talk about when it comes to, I guess it's, BPD related 
um, but depression as well. For about a month, don't get me wrong, it's still hard, but I was on a high. And then for the last week and a half, I crashed, which I always do. It doesn't matter how I go about it. It's inevitable that I will crash at some point and I've burnt out and I've spent the last week and a half in bed. I literally, last time I went out was last Tuesday with my mum and today's Tuesday, so a week. It's been a week since I've been out, but I've been in bed a lot anyway and depressed. But at the same time, I've been really flat, like numb. And my whole life, I've never really had a word to describe that feeling because I I just didn't understand it. I feel everything so intensely but at the same time I'm numb and I'm learning I'm I'm so sensitive that I'm basically like open nerve ends all the time. Literally everything can be a trigger for me. And depending where I'm at in my mental state I don't know how to explain it. It doesn't have to be this complicated, but it really is. So it's just really frustrating because I've done things for myself in this week and a half when I've been depressed and I've had to keep getting back into bed. And in the past, I would be in bed and I wouldn't function and I wouldn't brush my teeth and things like that. Whereas I've brushed my teeth every day, I've showered, not every day, but say every other day, I've cooked for myself. And I did my nails. I give myself a luxury pedicure at the beginning of the week. And then I did my nails. I did all the prep and that on, was it Saturday night? What day is it today? Tuesday. I did all the prep on Saturday night and painted one hand. And then on Sunday morning, I did the other hand. And I got nothing from it. Like, I didn't think, oh, well done. For being productive on your Sunday morning and well done for getting your nails done, doing them for yourself. I was just like that. <sighs> so today's vlog really is about things that I do to try and make myself feel... feel? <laughs> to make myself feel a bit better when I really can't pinpoint what it is that I'm feeling. I think my point was like I'm learning. I think that when I'm numb, it's because I'm so overwhelmed with something or everything that that's my protection and so I go numb. And it's so bizarre because people wouldn't know. Well, it's the same with everything. People wouldn't know that I'm in pain. And at the moment, it feels like my jaw is going, pressing, oh, it's, I can't even describe it. Am I making any sense? Probably not. But I just wanted to talk about that, like people emphasise that you're depressed, like you can have your high highs and then you crash and you have your low lows, so you're really depressed but nobody really talks about in the middle. And by neutral, I don't mean like because you're just feeling normal, you're not high, you're not, you're not extremely... Uh, I'm, I'm all or nothing, I'm from one extreme to the other I'm all the way up here or I'm down here there's no in between so I'm never like just normal the in between for me is flat it's numb oh, I don't know it's like I do enjoy, I love doing my nails I love being creative and I just want to keep doing nail things now but at the same time I just looked at them and was like yeah You've got your nails done. <laughs> Does that make any sense? It's so hard because everyone loves feeling good about themselves. And that you can, you can describe that. And everyone knows when you're depressed or you're feeling really low mood. But I just don't know how to describe this. So today, yeah, anyway, was about me trying to do things to make myself feel better about not understanding how I feel I guess and I don't even know what I've just said so I'm gonna have to watch this back 
I hope some of it made sense anyway. And can anyone relate? Can anyone relate? <laughs> I'm so tired. I've just been sat here, like sinking into my body, letting everything just try and release a bit of the tension from being up and about for a few hours. I'm gonna quickly tidy up, make my coffee and watch my film on plus one. I'll see you when my delivery arrives. People are still struggling to find my address because it's a new, a whole new estate postcode area thing. It's just, yeah. Anyway, I shall. Oh, oh. I see you, baby. Scratching the tree. <laughs> So my delivery has arrived. I ordered a laundry basket, which is obviously plastic and it turns up assembled and it's not here. So I was like, um, it's not all here because bloody blah, blah, blah. Anyway, picking this second box up, just realized it literally says split order. So I'm guessing the rest of it's coming or is this the split order? I don't know, I'll follow it up. This is what I get. A pink waffle fleece throw. This one I will be using in the living room. I've got my weighted blanket, but to be fair, sometimes I can't stand my weighted blanket because it feels like, you know, you're just laying down in bed like that. It feels like it's literally pushing my foot like that. Anyway, so this is for in the living room to be your cozy on one which is in charcoal i can't use normal fitted bed sheets like cotton because it irritates the shit out of my skin so at the moment i've got one on there it's like a silver color silver gray but i've had it a while and i needed another one anyway because i'm having to wash that one wait for it to dry and make the bed up and sometimes that's a lot to do all in one day so I have a spare, I have a second one now. So I can't wait for that to go on. <sighs> I love the autumn. I finally decided that this is my favorite month of the year. And then I have da, 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 a Teddy Fleece duvet set. The light gray. Oh my God, this is gonna be so cozy. With my heated blanket. Pillowcases and Bed spread, some basic cotton pillowcases. I know I just said that I can't use cotton, but I have a long pillow and a V pillow. So I don't actually touch this with my skin, but I do have pillows underneath. I have a lot of pillows, okay? But these are underneath my main ones. <laughs> so I'm waiting on my shopping basket. <coughs> No, I'm waiting on my washing basket two ultra bounce support pillows because you can never have too many pillows <laughs> who wants a box <laughs> babies who wants a box The most important things are here anyway and obviously I've got to wash all this before I can even put it on my bed. <sighs> Older people and phones and laptops and all that jazz and yes my grey's coming in. <sighs> it never fucking ends does it? There's always something. 
and it takes me like triple the amount of time because I'm such a perfectionist. I don't know why I'm doing this today. Apparently that's the accent of the day. I don't know, it, it's a thing. <laughs> I feel battered, I feel battered. These fucking sliders, they're these. Them comfy cloud ones, so it's not an option, I'm wearing them, but. I feel like I've got Max from EastEnders following me around, no shuffle foot. Spotty bananas. So what does that mean? Banana bread incoming! What am I gonna have for dinner? What am I gonna have for dinner? What am I gonna have? What am I gonna have? What am I gonna have for dinner? Oh, la, 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 Come on with the bouncing foot. Stop, Janine, just fucking stop now. It's just one of them days that a girl goes through when you're numb inside and you don't know what to do. What am I gonna do with you? <laughs> Oh yeah, do you like my new spotty tea towel? I got these last week from B&M to match my curtains, if you hadn't guessed. Diva. Hello, booty girl. If you can't tell, I'm fucked. But I still haven't eaten and I don't know what to do. I've got some... That's Matty Rice here. Some edamame. Some peppers. Oh, that went down the side of the cooker. Some corn. Yes, please. Soy sauce. One tablespoon. Two tablespoons. <laughs> This is as basic as it comes. Some black pepper. Bye, Diva! A little dash of water. See, I could just eat it like this. I know, you're probably thinking I'm a weirdo. But it's like a, a spicy, sweet and salty broth. And then I'm going to, I'm going to mix it. Yeah. I love anything rice, anything soupy, but like not a thick soup, a watery soup. I'll eat a thick soup. But. Don't mind the crazy hair. It's nine o'clock at night, but. I'm a fucking genius. <laughs> nine, 